Hello everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for being here. Uh, today we are doing a Amrata inspired look. She did a crazy beautiful face for um, New York Fashion Week and I want to try and recreate it. So I've got a lot of dogs around me right now. So I'm going to try and put this little one on my lap. Hold on. This is Sushi. She's a little mini schnauzer and she's a very very young puppy and she um, pees and poos everywhere. So I'm taking care of her for a week. I'm gonna show you the photo of what I'm trying to do. It's pretty much like smoldering sexy, you know, that kind of vibe. Plus Emrata is just so hot. Emily Ratajkowski, you know, if, if you know I'm talking about. So this is it. It's like, it's like very fresh face, nude, glossy, glossy lip, and like a smoked out um, brow with a little bit of a flick. I'm gonna maybe attempt not to do the flick because I don't like the flick on my face, but um, on everybody else's face it looks good, but on mine it's a little bit not the best. Anyways, I'm just gonna get start by prepping my skin. I'm gonna use some vitamin C serum because that's how I like to begin with everything. And then uh, the Aveeno Glow Drops. I have this dog on my lap, so we'll see how long this lasts. I wanna just include my prep quickly because prep is so important. Um, when you're doing your makeup, you wanna have a fresh canvas. So I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of Tatcha. Just, here, let's zoom you in, hi. Just in this area here. Um, so yeah, I'm going to give you a little update. So I have finished the contract of that office job I was working, and I'm not going to renew it. I have decided after long and hard that I don't want to work in an office. I want to um, not work in an office. For me, I just, I can't. Like, I'm such a creative... Sorry. That is my dryer. Uh, yeah, so I'm just like more of a creative person. I like to make my own hustles. I have my dog business that I'm trying to get back off the ground, which is basically just dog walking and boarding, but it makes me so happy. I love it. Um, I can't get enough of it. And then of course, makeup on the side for freelancing. Um, I'm going to keep applying makeup when I talk. This is the foundation I'm going to use. Uh, the Physicians Formula Healthy, healthy foundation. I fucking love this foundation. It gives me the coverage that I need, but also the, um, the thinness of it is just so skin-like and beautiful. Okay, and then I'm going to blend it out with this um, ColourPop concealer brush. Uh, yeah, so I am taking a break for a second of life. I'm just regrouping. I'm getting my website back up for the dogs and just getting like more clients and networking myself and you know I've saved up enough money where I don't need to work like every hour of every day but I'm also just giving myself a week to regroup prepare uh, we're going to Mexico in a month so I gotta book that stuff and yeah I don't know I'm I feel relieved I think that when you work jobs that you don't like if they're not going anywhere it's kind of hard to for me, it's, it was just so hard to justify doing that for like no reason. Oh, I love this foundation so much. It's so perfect. Like, can you appreciate this? It is just such a pretty, pretty, pretty glow. Hmm. Should I have to go down? Okay. I'm letting her down. She can't. She has no attention span. So I'm going to take a little bit more of a full coverage foundation and put this in my T-zone. For that, I'm going to use the Makeup Forever foundation stick in 535. And I'm just going to brush it pretty much in lieu of a concealer because I just want this area to last all night. I don't want everything to fall apart once I'm out and working and sweaty and not working but I just want this to last as well as look good and sometimes I find that when I put a more full coverage foundation in my t-zone it actually looks more put together as a makeup 
like as an application as a whole um, just because those are the areas where I don't want to look shiny and it and it is the areas where like the makeup will um, dissipate throughout the day I'll use a little bit of concealer not much I'm just gonna use like the tiniest amount of this makeup forever makeup revolution concealer mixed with my flower beauty concealer I just want a little bit of highlighting but not really that much I'm just gonna use the same brush and kind of buff that out very thinly I'm not packing that on I should use a mirror I like the technique of just buffing out a concealer over top of a foundation that I've put on so you don't need so much concealer and it's not so cakey but then you have that like brightness of the concealer over that coverage of the foundation now she's got like this crazy bronzer so what I don't want to do is make it muddy because I want it to last I'm gonna use a powder uh, can fat powder bronzer but I'm gonna mix these two this is the uh, physicians formula butter bronzer and the Marc Jacobs Omega bronzer and I'm gonna mix them where's my favorite bronzer brush this is the real techniques um, blush brush absolutely love this brush and I'm just going to be loose with the placement at first I'm not going in too crazy because I am using a powder I don't want it to get muddy um, if I use a cream under a powder, the texture, just for my skin specifically, it doesn't always work. It kind of uh, gets patchy in pills. Like I said, I want this to last. Sorry, I'm, I'm just really trying to use the natural light here because sometimes I, I don't and it's a mistake. Now, I'm just going to powder a little, little bit uh, underneath my eyes. For that, I'm going to use the RCMA No Color Color Powder. I just want to set that concealer... Before I go any further, I'm just using a tiny, tiny, tiny bit. I'm not using more than anything. I'm also going to put it on top because I am going to put eyeshadow on. What I'm going to do is take a little bit of these, this NARS liquid blush um, in Dolce Vita. And because she's got a really like tanned, she kind of looks like she has a sunburn, this is a good trick to do when you're trying to emulate that just take like a artificial brush and I'm just gonna put it on like the back of my thing and just literally thin it out and tap it on right here see now it looks like I have Sun I'm just gonna blend it out but it don't actually have any Sun which is a really nice trick do when you're trying to look like you just got back from vacation. I'm going to take it down a little bit because it's a little heavy. That's fine. Let's do eyes. So I'm going to use actually my shadow from my kit. This is uh, this is my main like eyeshadow palette for like when I do makeup. <laughs> and I'm going to use these colors because I don't often do and I want to. I just got um, this MAC color called Saddle. Ooh. This is Saddle. It's like a brown taupey color. I'm sure you know it. And then this is a Makeup Forever color in fuck, M726. It's like a rusty terracotta orange, which can be used for blush as well, but I'm going to mix these two. These are like my go-to, um, that the Makeup Forever one is like my go-to bridal color. Every chance I get, I use it for a bride. I'm using a Morphe M441 brush. I'm going to smoke this out so it's pretty effortless. Nothing too crazy. Um, Emily Yvadikowski doesn't have fancy makeup looks. She just kind of looks effortlessly beautiful always, which is a goal for everyone, I think. Anyway, I'm just popping this in my crease. I'm not doing anything crazy. I just love the color combination of these two. I think they're beautiful. All right, so I've got that smoked out and I'm gonna take that underneath my eye as well. Quite far down. Oh, I love oranges. If you can't tell, I love them. 
They are so flattering. I feel like on all occasions, <laughs> I just always want to wear orange on my eyes. Okay, so I'm going to take this guy. This is the um, a eyeliner from Urban Decay. I'm just going to rub this on my eye. This is a Morphe E36 brush, and I'm just going to super, super duper blend the crap out of this. So you have to do this in layers. It's not going to just look perfect right away. I'm going to do this like five times. So she's got like a big black flick. Because that doesn't work with my eye shape, I'm just adjusting to what does work with my eye shape. Okay, so I've got that smoked out on my lash line. I'm just going to curl my eyelashes and use mascara. And for that, I'm going to use um, L'Oreal Lash Paradise. And then I'm going to fill my eyebrows a little bit with just some powder. And then I'll be right back. Okay. Huh? I'm back. So I have my eyebrows and my eyelashes on. Okay, now I'm going to bake because I'm a little muddy, or at least I feel a little muddy. It might not show on camera, but it's definitely there. So I'm going to use the... Um, Fit Me Powder by Maybelline, and I'm going to mainly put this on, I'm just going to carve out my cheeks. I'm going to contour my um, lips, basically just here, and I'm just going over my lips with a little bit of bronzer. So I'm just going to let this sit for like 10 more minutes and I'll be right back. Sorry, I'm not sure if I was recording or not, but I basically just wiped off my bake. That's all I did. Um, now I'm going to take a little bit of the Flower Beauty Blush Balm in Cinnamon and a tiny, tiny bit of the Glossier Cloud Paint in Dusk. And I'm going to basically shear that out on the back of my hand and mix them just very, like, sheerly. And I'm going to apply that to the apples and up. A little bit on the bridge of my nose, but mainly just where I put the bronzer. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little bit of it on the um, that brush that I was using for my eyeshadow, and just kind of blend the edge with that cream, just a wee bit. Just kind of all smokes into each other. Okay, now I'm going to spray my face with the uh, Makeup Forever, no, this is the Milani Make It Last uh, setting spray, so I'm going to spray that. Then let that dry. I'm back, I'm sprayed, I'm ready for highlight, because that's pretty much the most important part. Her, her skin is very, very wet, dewy, crazy, gorgeous looking, so I'm going to use Champagne Pop. It really is just a classic, and when used sparingly, can be actually stunning. Like, too much of it, you're screwed. But just a little bit, I mean, seriously. Who are we kidding here? This is, this is what, this is what I'm after. In life, this is a goal. Like that? So I'm doing this when my face is still a little bit damp, but not wet. All right, just a little bit on the cupid's bow. And then where she really has it that makes her look so shiny is right like there. Can you see? And then I'll just bring the rest down. Sorry, I'm doing this in the mirror because it's quite easy to go overboard. A little bit of that on my brow bone just to tie it all in and a little bit in the center just the excess in the center I'm gonna take a little bit of that powder the um, Maybelline fit me powder and just go over the area 
So for lips, take um, this lip liner by Tawny, I mean by Jordana and Tawny. Just line them a little bit. Okay, just so make they look a little bigger. Then I'm going to put a little bit of a NYX cream in um, Athens. Not a lot, just a sheer amount. I actually love this lip color. Then a little bit of She Bad, which is discontinued now, but it's just any nude will do. Perfect. And I'm not doing this, I'm doing this a little messy so my lip shape isn't actually so defined. Then I'm going to go over with a shiny gloss. This is Over the Top by Dose of Colors. She's got like a wicked gloss on. Perfect. Perfect. I love it. I think I accomplished my goal today. Become Emily, Emily Radkowski? No. But I did her makeup well. I mean, she didn't do her makeup, you know. Maybe she did. Maybe I shouldn't say it like that, but she probably did not. And the only thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to take a little bit of that orange color from the beginning that's on my lid. Just bring it into the corners. And just in this space here. There. Boom. All right, guys, this is it. This is the final look. I think I kind of accomplished my goal. Definitely did a super sexy, smoky makeup that I'm going to leave on for a while because I like it. I think it looks really good. Uh, yeah, so thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this uh, video. And uh, please give it a thumbs up, a like, a subscribe, all that stuff. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.